right now the Democrats and the legacy media are trying to convince Americans that there's no such thing as critical race theory in public schools. They're saying it's a dog whistle and a, a boogeyman and you know it was just a tool to manipulate voters, to manipulate soccer moms to go to the polls and vote Republican. But that's ridiculous. I can tell you now that's not a winning strategy to try to convince America that there's no such thing as CRT in schools because we saw it with our own eyes. We heard it with our own ears when they shut down the schools and brought everything online. We saw and heard everything. So the gig's up. And we saw that with the parents storming school board meetings, demanding that indoctrination um, not take place in schools. And we saw it Tuesday night when parents uh, voted out Terry McAuliffe, who basically was saying, yeah, uh, you don't have a right to, to decide what your kid learns at school. So it's important to keep in mind that this actually stems from the colleges of education. You know, as editor of the College Fix, I can tell you these schools of education are training up these young future teachers to believe that America is systemically racist, that all white students are privileged, that students of color are oppressed, that the only solution is equity of outcomes. And we're going to have this and we're going to keep having this um, until either, you know, we find a new way to educate our teachers or we address the problem in the colleges of education, because that's where the problem starts and then it trickles down to K-12. So check out our articles on the College Fix because we're reporting on the curriculum, we're reporting on what the future teachers are being taught, and if you want to address critical race theory and what's being called now culturally responsive teaching in the K-12 classrooms, it actually starts um, as they're training up our future teachers. So I hope to see you there at thecollegefix.com. Thanks.